Okay. In looking at the digital forms and all that, um, the, the, there's couple, there are several remarks that need to be made. Children, all right, for one. Because they're kids, you know, doesn't mean that they can't learn to enhance and elevate the, the skill level of the children. You have to do both. You have to be able to teach proper techniques and they have to progress in rank. First of all, okay, in the forms, all the stances have to be exaggerated. So if I'm doing a 공격 자세, you, this, is not, this is not it. Standing around is not a stance, right? It has to be a deep stance, right? And it has to be like, you know, not to a point where you can't be moving, but you can't be standing. It has to be a deeper stance. Leg shoulder width and your step back. Toes forward, front knees bent. So this is not correct. This is never correct. I've seen so many stances like this. There is no such thing as what's called an open 공격 자세. Right? When we say 대비 자세 and it's open, we do that for the 쌍절봉 형. Okay, which basically means the footwork is in the is in this 90 degrees, and you basically standing here because you're going to be pivoting into the forward stance. One other very important point is that the front knee has to, leg has to be perpendicular to the ground. Knee cannot be over the toes, and the uh, uh, the front leg can't be straight. It has to be here, and it has to be hip forward. The back foot has to turn as much forward as possible, but it's not going to be perfectly forward, okay? This is your Achilles stretch for your weapon fighting. Naturally, this is not, you can't do it. It's gonna be a little bit out to the side. It's our lunge position, lunge stance for our staff form, which is a Tebi Desert position with the back leg extended. There is no stance where I bend the back knee, but the front foot points forward, okay? So I want you to do that. Do this right now, okay, 공격 자세, and bend the back knee only, okay? Keep on bending it. Turn the back foot out to the side and bend. Keep bending. How does that feel to you? Keep the front leg straight. Does that feel good? You think that's a good stance? What they're doing, you see, a lot of times you know, in the, uh, when they pivot, doing whatever, turning, pivot, uh, whatever, this, you, need, you didn't turn the front foot. So what requires here, toes pointing forward, now just pivot the foot, both. Go ahead. And body, you're looking forward, body's turned, but stay here. Now, is that comfortable? Just, yeah. I'm not leaning. My head to my butt, anus is like I'm stuck impaled in a pole and it doesn't move my body doesn't move it, you see it's just you practice chunk one pivot 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 right outside block outside block down block top block both making sure, no matter how fast you do it, this pivot is always taking place. Boom, boom. One, two. But when we pivot here, see, if you feel it, when I do the down block, boom. See that pivot going this way and going that way, the counter force, you feel the power. Bam. See that? You got to feel that. You got to feel that. Boom, boom. Arm comes from the outside. Bam. See? Right at the end, right at the end, boom. I don't block here, it's right at the end, I, I tense, I go bam. Okay, now when I when you see my arm, it's straight line. Where's my center? Right here. See, it's past that center. My chest has to open. This is what's proper. Here, no good. Here, no good. Here, no good. Here, no good. Here. Every movement 
builds on top of each other. So if I did one movement 90%, the next movement is not gaining benefit from your 90% you movement. In order for the second movement to be more powerful, you have to go 100% first and second 100%. It's a simple concept of life. Nothing changes. Right? You do one thing, first thing, you must do it 100% to expect the next thing to be better. Right? You do shortcut, you do lazy ass, huh? and don't give 100% you first, and then you expect more later, you're an idiot. Wonder why my life is whatever, you don't think about how hmm, crappy you are. Right? You suck at first grade, but second grade, you expect a miracle. Doesn't happen. So it's not important. It's just a memory, mnemonic. It's just memorizing once they understand the fundamentals. They're just memorizing it. Right? That they can do, huh? Riding in a car, riding in the bus. So you must invest time in the fundamentals here. This kind of exercise. From my stomach, boom, pivot, right? And what's the other issue? I don't look down, I'm saying, chest open, right? Here, no good. Here, no good, blocking. Here, yes. Here, no good. Here, no good. Right above my hand. What is my hand doing? Not turned down, because now I'm blocking with my, turned out, because now then I'm blocking with my muscle. So hand turns out here, boom. There's a little torque, and then deliver. You force it, you don't say yell, you just do it with power, it naturally comes up. When you get angry, do you have to think, yell? Huh? When you get angry, do you think, yell? No. Right, when a dog barks, do you think it says bark? No. When a lion roars, it says, Let's roar. Let's make it louder. No. It's all related to his intensity, his emotion, his state of mind, his state of being. Understand? That, that has to be your chia. You know, even experienced martial artists, they don't know how to make a fist. And you better check your fist, okay? You can you don't know how to make a proper fist, then you 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 can't call yourself martial artist. Right foot comes in, turns out 90 degrees, I step straight back. So my heel, heel, front and back heel are aligned, okay? This is heel to my toe aligned, no good. It's here, okay? Front hand down the center, high, the other hand across the body, center line, not here, set. So if you see from the side, okay, this is my stance, here. Okay, this is not a stance. See, this is weight forward with a front knee bent, no good. This is weight back, no good. You're sitting, sitting, set. Body, always straight. Why are we not doing this? Yes. Because we need also to block the upper front and the lower front. Yeah, do we do this? No, sir. No, sir. So, why will we then? If we don't do that, then why don't we do this? Right? If we don't do this, why don't we do that? Okay, can you do this? Absolutely. It's hit my face stance. What is this? Hit my body stance. So, you could do that if I want to go, okay, hit me, hit me, hit me. And I block down. If I go here, hit me, hit me. Yeah, I can do that. But as a stance, it's not a good stance, right? So, we set our stance, one end, knee high, the other protecting low. Here, so now I'm covered, I'm protected. Protecting my center line. Can we set our stance and put our hand this way? Yes, you could do that, okay? But is that a good idea to do? No, because you've can jam your fingers. What's that stance? That, so you can drive, protect, and drive the punch from there. You can, but this is not a good stance. Three equal sides. So here, 
here and here must be equal. This is a kimajaze. The problem is it could be wider, but what's the problem here? It's balanced. I won't move because I can't move. If I point the toes out, go ahead, do see I'm, the foot, the foot has to point forward. Okay. What's the problem when people I say point forward? All right, what happens? They, they'll do this. This is no good, your knee position. Okay, it has to knee, this is a weak knee position. So I need to make sure my knee goes out and not in. One, two, I pivot. Three, only here. Front leg, nothing happening. Block, pivot. Block, pivot. You see, nothing happening here. I keep my foot in place, I'm winding up, and boom, I release the next movement. So I go down block one, I hit two, when I wind up tighter and release, boom! That knife hand is very powerful. The knife hand is not because of my arm, it's my wind up here and me pivoting back, boom! That is what's delivering the power in this hand. Form is an expression. What are you expressing? Yes, Simone? Fighting, sir. Fighting! Fighting! What, is it a love song? Are you expressing romance? Are you romancing your partner with these movements? What is it, a sad? Is it melancholy? Is it sadness? Are you depressed? What do you want people to see and experience and feel when they see you moving? What is it you're trying to express? Power. Power. Power, absolutely. But in that movement, right, when you're showing power, there's also what? There's grace. There's beauty. Beauty, you don't have to be practiced Martial artists to see when you, somebody does a good, they go, wow. What is, it? what is the most horrific form to look at? Is when you know they're thinking about, okay, after this, I gotta do this, after this, I gotta do that. You know they're thinking. It's, that's like somebody saying, uh, reading the book. Uh, yeah. Today I did this and yesterday, and every key up, everything, it's, it's not fabricated. Okay, I got a key up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to take it more seriously, right? When you teach it, when you do it, <coughs> all of that, right? It's a form of expression. It's expression of power, of grace, of beauty, okay? And when you do it right, aesthetics is about symmetry and balance. It's transcending all things. We know as human beings what's beautiful because it's dealing with aesthetics. And what are these aesthetics? These are aesthetics. These are things that is written and created by our creator. We have to use some form of formula, structure, in order to create his creation. That's aesthetics. So when you're expressing yourself fully in all the things you're doing in the most beautiful way, that is honoring your creator. That's honoring God, that's honoring life, that's honoring everything that is made beautiful in the world. Things are not beautiful by accident. They're not beautiful by accident. They're beautiful by design, by design. Not randomness, not to just, you know, I love to just see somebody put crap together and make something beautiful. When you put crap with crap, it's crap. I don't care what you do. You can't mix crap and get something miraculous. Form, that is harangdo. Right, when you do that form, when you move, that, that is like, okay, that is giving you that identity of what harang, harangdo is. And when you become more perfect in those movements, then you're feeling, witnessing God, beauty. You can't love one part of it. 
Either you love it, you love it all, or you don't. You can't go, well, I like that, but I don't like this. No such thing. Okay? When you marry, it's the same thing. And that crap, that's going to get you in trouble. I love about that, about that person, but that, uh, I want to fix that when, after we get married. No way, Sherlock, it doesn't happen. What you marry, what you get, that's it. After marriage, you start dating. You want to fix them, don't marry. But after you marry, I do. It's like... Okay? They don't put on makeup anymore. They cut their hair, they get a perm. So they can just shake their hair off, uh, and, and it dries. Okay? And your guy don't shower. He don't even brush. He don't care. He farts everywhere. All right? You have to love everything about it. Okay? Practice. If you love it, then do everything well.